Okay, well, as we start our journey here, uh, one of the most important questions that we have to ask is, what is the Bible about, right? If we're going to do a journey through the Bible, then what is the Bible about? And what we'd say here, the Bible is the most uh, read book in history. It's the most printed book in history, and it's where we find our story. Um, and what I would say, it's the story of God. It tells the story from creation to Jesus to Jesus' return and what's going to happen in the, in the future. Um, the beautiful thing about God is he just didn't throw us into the world and say, hey, figure it out, guys, you can do it. I believe in you, you know, go for it. Um, no, he gave us a roadmap. Right? He gave us a roadmap to him. He gave us a roadmap on how we should live. He gave us a roadmap on how he came to us. It's all in here. And he says, this is for you. Read it and understand it and apply these principles to your life. It will change you. It'll make you better. But most importantly, it'll lead you to me. Right? It'll lead you to me. And so as we start this journey, what I would say is, I don't want to say anything that's not found in here. And if I do say something that's not found in here, forget about it. Kick it to the curb. Don't, don't listen to it. Um, I want this Bible study to be founded on the truths of the Bible. Um, will I always get things right? I hope so, but there's a chance I won't. And if I don't, always err to what the Bible says. I never trust what a person says. I will always trust what the Word of God says. That's how important the Bible is to this journey. That's why it's a journey through the Bible that will lead us to the ultimate goal, which is God, which is Jesus. And so... Uh, there are 66 different books that are in this Bible. Um, there's an Old Testament and there's a New Testament. In the Old Testament, there are 39 books that are written. Uh, it tells the story, uh, basically, of creation up to the time of Jesus, right? That's what the Old Testament is, from creation to the time of Jesus. And the New Testament, then, will focus on the life of Jesus to his death and resurrection, and then some historical letters that were typically written to church, uh, churches to tell Christians how we are to live and how we are to connect deeper to God it helps with some of the theology of understanding what the whole Bible is all about. And that's the focus of the New Testament. Um, some great interesting things about the Bible itself. It was written literally over a 1,500 year period, right? 1,500 years. So it wasn't like someone wrote this overnight and just said, yep, this is the Old Testament, New Testament story, and they put it out there. Um, you're talking uh, 40 or so generations of people took part in writing the Bible. Roughly 40 authors uh, that took part in this. Most of these authors, they never met each other. Some of them lived a thousand years before the other person and what they wrote. But yet when you take their letters and you take their stories and you put it together in the Bible, it tells this beautiful story kind of from start to finish the story of God. But yet they never met each other, right? That's a miracle in itself. So how in the world do all these people write, you know, 38, 40 different people write all these different parts we put together, but yet we have this cohesive story that tells the story of God. Absolutely amazing. So 30 um, or so different, 38 different writers that we see on that. Over a 1400 year period, but we see that. Uh, we also see that these guys came from many different walks of life. Right, so it wasn't one person here; it was many, uh, and they came from. Uh, Moses uh, was uh, a political leader. He was trained in Egypt. Peter was a fisherman. Amos uh, was a herdsman. Uh, Joshua was a military general. Nehemiah was a cupbearer. Uh, Daniel was a prime minister. Luke was a doctor. Uh, Solomon was a king. Matthew was a tax collector. Paul was a rabbi. So very different occupations. Very different people who wrote this book of the Bible. Uh, it was written in many different places. Uh, you have uh, Moses writing his in the wilderness, in the desert. You have Jeremiah writing his book from a dungeon. Uh, Daniel wrote on a hillside and actually in a palace. Paul was in a prison cell uh, for some of his writings. Uh, Luke was traveling when he wrote his. John, all right, uh, the Apostle John, um, was actually in an island in Patmos. And so many different writers, many different places, but yet they tell the exact same story, the story of God as, as you, you put that together. It's actually written in three different continents as well, which is quite amazing. Um, you have uh, many manuscripts, right? Where do we get these manuscripts? We have over 24,000 manuscripts that date back to 125 AD, 24,000. And so there's no other book in history um, that we can kind of look back historically and find the historical records. And yet we keep finding archaeological discoveries and we find these discoveries, the books are written exactly the same. The history hasn't changed. So absolutely amazing book. Um, again, you have this sheet right here. 
Um, you have the digital version. I would click on it that says the Bible here. And this is through the Bible Project. What is it? Watch this. Watch it a couple times. Um, it'll kind of give you the big picture of what the Bible is all about. And they do a fantastic job and definitely worth watching there and understanding what the Bible is all about. Our focus for the next really couple months here, hopefully, is going to be on the Old Testament. Right? What happened in the Old Testament of, of, of the Bible? And again, you can see here, these are the Old Testament books that we'll be looking at. Not all of them, but most of them. And so um, we're also going to look at some kind of Old Testament land. So as you flip this over here, it says Old Testament land. So as we tell this story of God, right, uh, the biblical stuff, where do we find that? Are the places still in the world today? And the answer is absolutely yes. You, you, there are multiple places that are written about in here that you can still find on a map over here. And so as we look at the Old Testament, uh, primary part of our story will take place in this region right through here. Uh, we'll see that God's people will be held captive in Egypt over here. We'll talk about the Promised Land. Uh, Great Sea is the Mediterranean Sea that we'll see up there. So a lot of that story will take place um, on that map there. And this gives you a little bit of information about that. So take time to look through that. And then what will happen is once you have a good understanding of those things for this week, uh, we'll start our first story, right? And this one's called A Story and a Song. And so what you'll need to do, uh, once again, uh, get your... Jesus Storybook Bible. Again, trust me on this. It's absolutely fantastic. Make sure it got it the right the way there for you. And do this first story. Take it through and, and ask yourself, what are the truths that I'm learning about God? What are the truths that I'm learning about myself? Believe that he is there with you, right, in this journey as you're doing this. And let those truths absorb in your head and also in your heart. So I'm very excited to see you for our next video. I will talk through some of the big truths that we learned this week, and we'll start our journey through the Bible together. All right, guys, well, blessings and have a great day. We'll see you soon.